Hey guys, when you are working on your paragraphs today, I want you to consider uh, using some transitions and lead-ins before you have your quote. So if you check out this worksheet, it really goes over the fact that whenever you use a quote in a paragraph, you should really start with some kind of transitional phrase. You can use something like, for example, in addition, furthermore, um, that's called a transition, right? It helps you move into your next sentence. The second thing that you want to do is provide context. And what that means is you don't want to assume that the person who is reading your paragraph has read the story. So if you throw in a quote where Mary is speaking to Patrick, but your reader has no idea who Mary is or what's happening in that moment, they're going to be lost. So you want to provide information that kind of gives that background leading up to your quote, okay? For that reason, that part's called a lead-in, all right? And then obviously you're going to provide your actual, your actual quote, your concrete detail, okay? And then you'll have your in-text citation after it. So I wanted to give you this document that gives you some examples of that and then also gives you a bunch of transitions that you can use throughout your paragraph to make it flow more smoothly. So obviously if you're about to give a quote, that's an example, right? So these are all ones that might really fit there. But then don't forget that throughout the other parts of your paragraph, you can use other transitions as well, particularly in the very last line when you're bringing it to a close. You wanna say something like overall, um, in conclusion, Right. If you look right down here to repeat, summarize or conclude. So you could say all in all, Roald Dahl conveys blank by doing blank. All right. So start to use these things to help uh, create more complex sentences instead of simple ones.